Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, in this video, we are going to create this mountain campsite using Blender, so let's get straight into the video, first of all, you need to enable landscape add-on, for that, go to preferences in the edit menu, go to add-on, and search for landscape and tick the box. Now press shift plus A, select mesh, and select landscape. Right click and select shade flat for a polygon look. Add a decimate modifier to decrease the polygon count for a low poly style. Go to top view, and press tab for edit mode, select vertices, and scale it in the z-axis, press s to scale, z and enter 0 to scale only on z-axis. After that delete the faces by pressing x and select face. Now add a new cube for the base of the landscape, and scale it. You can enable snapping by clicking the snap to from the top menu, shift press and select face vertices and edges to select all, click the magnet icon to enable snapping. Now move the mountain, you can see the mesh is snapping to the cube, adjust and place the mountain for our need. Now select the base cube, press the tab for edit mode, and select the top face. Right click, and select subdivide 4 times. Enable proportional editing and select random. Go to edit mode, select the bottom vertices of the cube, and hide it by pressing H. Now select a face and move slightly up in the Z axis, scroll the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the brush size. Now let's create some trees. Create a circle with 7 vertices, and select triangle fan. Press slash for isolating the selection. Go to edit mode, and select the middle vertex, move up in the z-axis so we get a cone shape. Press numpad 3 to switch the view to the front view. Press K for the knife tool, and press C to cut through the shape, and cut in a straight line. Then press enter to apply. Select the edges and press G twice to slide the edges along the shape. and scale it down. Select a vertex and press V to separate it into two. Now duplicate this shape and rotate the shapes to feel a randomness. Select all and go to edit mode, select the vertex of the topmost shape and scale it down, and make sure proportional editing is turned on. Create a cylinder with 6 vertices for the tree trunk. Create a loop cut by pressing Ctrl plus R, and move it slightly in the X axis, scale the bottom face, now our tree is complete. Press Ctrl plus J to join the shapes. Now place the tree in our scene, I'm fast forwarding this process.
let's create a river, for that create a cube. and create a shape like this. Select our landscape cube and add a boolean modifier, select the new cube and make sure the difference in the modifier tab is selected, and apply the modifier. Select the river faces and subdivide, select a face and enable proportional editing, and create a water-like effect by moving face in the z-axis. Let's create a bridge, create a cylinder with six edges, and duplicate it into two, create a cube for the planks now let's add some details to the cylinder press ctrl plus r to create a loop cut Select the edges and move in the Y axis slightly for a bend look, now select a vertex and press Ctrl plus B to bevel the edges, if it's not beveling then press V, add details until you are satisfied. Do the same for the plank also. Now duplicate the shapes and create the bridge. For the hand rope, let's create a plane. Enter edit mode and press M to merge and select at the center, now we will have a single vertex. Place it on one side and press E to extrude. Press Ctrl plus R and add loop cuts, select the middle vertex, and move it in the Z axis while proportional editing is on. Right click and convert to a cure, in the settings menu, and increase the depth of the curve. Now let's create rocks, create an ICO sphere with one subdivision, isolate, edit mode, select vertices, and add details by beveling the vertices and edges, add details until you are okay with it.
I'm adding some rocks to the side of the landscape to increase some details. Camping tent, create a plane, edit mode add a loop cut in the middle, and move the edge in the Z direction so it looks like a tent. Now let's add some bent to it. Create loop cuts on one side. Select an edge and make a bent shape, make sure proportional editing is on. Do the same on the other side also. Select the vertex and press F to fill it with a face, follow along to fill the faces. Now let's create 10 supports, duplicate the cylinder and place it as shown. And create ropes for support by using the same method we used for bridge. Duplicate the tent, rotate and place it like this. Let's create a tree branch for seating, create a cylinder with 6 edges. And press Ctrl plus R to create a loop cut, select the edges and move it to make a bend, select the top face, press I to inset, press E to extrude, and extrude inwards. Do the same on the other side, I to inset and E to extrude. And place it in your scene. Let's create a campfire. Duplicate the branches and follow along. For creating a fire, create a plane. Add loop cuts, and make the plane into this shape. I added some sphere shapes for fire particles. and our landscape is ready. Now let's add materials to the shapes, for this, I used a color palette, which I will add a link to download from my Patreon page. Create a new material, 
go to the shading window, press Shift plus A, search for image texture, select the image, and connect to the base color of principal BSDF. Now select the trees and add this material, in edit mode press numpad 3 to front view. Select the tree leaves, press U to unwrap, and select project from view, in the UV editor window, select all the maps and scale them down, and place them as shown, now repeat the same for the other shapes. Let's add material to the mountain, for that select mountain, create a new material, increase the roughness value and change the color to gray. Press tab to edit mode select some of the top vertices, add a new material, and change the color and click assign to apply materials to the selected vertices. Let's add materials to the remaining shapes. For the fire, I added a new material and with an emission value of 20 and a bright orange color. And for the river, add new material, decrease the roughness value to zero, and increase the metallic and transmission value for a reflective surface. Let's add a camera, press numpad zero to enter camera view select camera to view from the view tab inside menu, Change the focal length to 200 mm from camera settings. After that you can add some area lights and place it as you wish or follow along with me, and finally render your image by pressing F12, I usually render with 150 samples. Thank you for watching, subscribe and enable the notification so that you don't miss any future videos.